Pet food can be filled with junk and fillers. So what do you look for when you're buying your pet's food? Ryan is here from Train Walk Poop to tell us the skinny on the food. Yeah. <laughs> I say skinny because you can, your dog can get fat on food, right? I mean, if you're, yeah. if you're feeding them, A, the wrong kind of food or too much food. Um, what do we need to be looking for in our pet's food? Um, so the best place to go is dogfoodadvisor.com. So they'll rate your current dog's food and they'll tell you why each ingredient is either a good ingredient for the dog's food or if it's a filler. Ah. And it'll break all of the recipes down. Um, they also give you alerts if there's any dog food recalls. So I, I really like that website. Oh, that's good. So check out your current food and see how it's rated. And do they recommend different foods that are good for dogs? Um, I don't know if they, I think they do have like some recommended. It was probably mm -hmm. paid. Right. Um, okay. but, but really, they ju it's just a good directory of all the different dog foods. All right. So, what do you have here? So we have Utah Paw. It's a dog food line we carry, and we do free home delivery to most areas. Oh, do you? Yeah. And this is a salmon dog and This food. is salmon. Most dogs really like the salmon. It smells like salmon because there's a lot of salmon in it. So that's a good indicator as well. Um, and then dogs will tend to get overweight if they have a high-quality food and they're free-fed. Like we were talking. Yeah, I was asking about free feeding because, um, like my, my friends George and Brian, they free feed their dogs and they're a little bit chubby, just a tiny bit. Uh, but sometimes free feeding is okay for dogs, but some of them can gain weight. You said Pig used to be free fed and she was a little and, chubby. No, she was actually skinny because the food wasn't very good and I didn't oh. know it. And so I actually switched to Utah Paw as a customer originally. And as soon as I started feeding her Utah Paw, she started getting fat quick. Oh, that's when so she So then got I fat. had to start really watching what she ate. Because it's such good quality food that she's like that she was like this it. is my favorite thing I want to eat it all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, so you said you you should add a little bit of water to the food. Yeah, hold, me that to hold bowl it. for me. I can see the salmon in here. Oh no, those are dog treats. Oh, those are dog treats. Oh, okay. I, I spiced it up a little bit for. Because so we just sweet. add a little bit of water. So and it's, why are so we doing kind that? of floating. So if you make it look like a little bowl of cereal, maybe if we put it down, okay. people can see it a little better. Um, it's a little easier on the dog's stomach. Uh, because the dog food soaks up so much of the uh, stomach acid. Oh. So she, w she used to get really thirsty about 15 minutes after she would eat. So now I just mix water in, it's easier on her stomach, and, and they, they really she, does like Does she it. know she's allowed to eat it? Yeah, she already had <laughs> she breakfast already had this breakfast morning. She already had breakfast this morning. I totally forgot if she's eating. I was like, I should have. Well, eat sometimes on air. they can have second breakfast. Yep. <laughs> as long as it doesn't happen every day or she gets right, fat. Right, or else she. Okay, so how, how would you know if she was fat? Uh, so most I mean, vets, other than like looking like a sausage. Yeah, most vets say if you can just barely feel your dog's ribs when you're petting them, that's the right weight for most dogs. Okay. So and that's about where she's at. You should see her hips. So most pugs, like we were talking, she, they like, just are has a hefty. Hourglass figure here. Yeah. She does. And pugs are supposed to be a little heftier around the chest. Uh huh. Um, so it depends on the breed a little bit too. But but they pretty much all should be able to. You should be able to fill their ribs. I love that you deliver food to people and the good kind of food. Yep, good quality. That's stuff. wonderful. Mm -hmm. So how often is she eating a day? Twice. So just twice a day. Twice a day, uh -huh. morning and night. Yep. And that's fine usually. And, and I would say too, a good place to go, Healthy Pets Mountain West. They okay. have a couple of different stores. They have they carry the higher quality food. Their staff is as well educated, so they can tell you the pros and cons. Um, and then Hound and Cat and Draper is also another good store. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to follow Ryan or take your dog to get trained or have questions, trainwalkpoop.com. Correct. And that's the phone number. Yep. And I love it when you bring Pig in. She's adorable. Thank you. She's always so sweet. You're going to have to give her lunch later. Yep. Because she's not we'll eating. You're probably a good girl on camera. Ryan, thanks so much. All right, Saray, over to you.